Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I went through the drive through at Taco Bell and holy smokers, they got a brand new product called the Triple Double Crunch Wrap and because this is the Robert Dyer channel, I had to go big and so I ordered the big box triple double crunch wrap big box for five dollars and of course along with whatever is inside of that I got my favorite Baja Blast medium that comes with this big box <sighs> okay so here's the big box and you have some trivia here on the side about Taco Bell. Okay, let's go to open the box. And we have the Diablo sauce I asked for. We have a stack of napkins here. And the Doritos Locos, which is a nacho cheese taco, I believe. More sauce. This is the, I believe this is a soft taco. Yes. Soft taco over there. And of course, we're getting down to the main event. And that is the new triple double crunch wrap. See, it's pretty big. Basically, takes up the whole inside of the box here. Well, I got the. I ordered the spicy version of this. You can also get the regular version if you don't like the extra spice. The you have in this uh, hefty tortilla here wrapped up. You can see some of the filling trying to come out of the bottom there. You have uh, the, my favorite seasoned ground beef. You have a nacho cheese sauce, diced tomatoes, and I'm trying to remember what else. But I know that the spicy version is supposed to add jalapenos and the spicy ranch dressing. I'm pretty sure I smell jalapenos, so I think they gave me the right thing. This thing is huge. It's pretty much a two-hand item. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Well, right away in that first bite, I got one of the ingredients I forgot, which is the sour cream. And then a very good amount of spice that I think was just coming from the spicy ranch because I didn't bite into an actual jalapeno. Whatever it was, it was about a 6 or 7 out of 10 on the Robert Dyer heat scale, so a good amount of spice. That was a jalapeno, I definitely can taste that. See if we can get some of the actual beef in here. It's a very good combination. Up on the top level you have the hot uh, beef and nacho cheese sauce and then down below you sort of have the salad layer with the tomatoes, the lettuce, sour cream, spicy ranch, and then these great jalapenos chopped up. Cool thing's about to explode here though. Let's get out this soft taco, which it says sets the standard for soft tacos. So, strong boost see what's in here. Okay, it's 
a standard seasoned beef filling, cheese, lettuce. So it's not a uh, whatever you call it, taco supreme. It's the standard. Well, that's absolutely fabulous as usual. Five stars for that. Finally, the Doritos Locos Taco. Best selling item in the history of Taco Bell. Got the special, special sleeve here. Pull that out. Was invited to the Hollywood premiere of the movie Lights Out. Lights Out. And I found myself in the theater seated next to Bradley Cooper. All of a sudden we started to have a bit of an argument about whose drink could go in that cup holder in between the two seats. I was here first. Oh, he was here first. We were arguing and it starts struggling, struggling. The next thing I know, I, I see that the TMZ guy pop up from behind a seat. I had to throw a box of snow caps at him to shut him down. Stop snitching. Stop snitching. Bob, in your last video, you talked about how channels like yours is being shut down so that these elites on YouTube can dominate at the top. And finally, the first ex expose has been written in USA Today about, guess who, PewDiePie, who you called out by name in your video. Well, guess who's in the center of this expose? YouTubers plug games for pay. For pay. Remember, you talked about the money that's changing hands in the world of YouTube. It says, he didn't disclose that he was paid, and I looked at the video myself, and it just starts up, and he, ne he never said it was sponsored. He never says this is a paid advertisement. How many other of those YouTubers, look at all the products they're pushing on there, it never says that this is sponsored. We got to take action, Bob. We got to move up the real channels like yours, and that's why everybody out there has got to take a, take a sip of this drink and tweet out a link to this video with hashtag Tarnation Bob and share it on Facebook and everywhere else. That hits the spot. Hits the spot. Other than the catastrophic uh, shell collapse there, that was another five-star Doritos Locos Taco. And I have to say, after several years, that I think the nacho version is the best of the three. But back to the main event here, which is this uh, triple-double crunch wrap. I think this may be the best product that Taco Bell has put out this year so far. It's not all that different, except that it does have these uh, chopped jalapenos and I would say in particular this spicy addition of it. Plenty of flavor, uh, there's plenty of heat as Donald Trump would say there is no problem, no problem as far as the uh, spice and heat in this version. I didn't have to dump a whole bunch of Diablo sauce on here. As you can see uh, very hefty portion, good amount of filling in here, and a great combination of flavors. And as far as the price, this is a great deal if you consider that I believe the crunch wrap itself is three dollars and I want to say three dollars and twenty-five cents. And that's a pretty good deal when you look at the size of this thing. 
think of what you pay for a burger these days, five, eight dollars or something smaller than this. Um, so you get all this plus the medium drink for five dollars. And then the Montgomery County Council, they don't like to get a deal for anybody, so they greedily take 30 cents tax for themselves for all this meal they had nothing to do with preparing. Ridiculous as usual. I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, item, spicy version, and the big box a uh, solid five stars. Hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.